Hello, my pretties. I'm Giovanna, and today you'll be watching a bewitching on the street. We'll be talking to the ghouls and goblins of Columbia. <coughs> okay, do I have to keep doing that? No? Okay. Well, you know the drill. Cable Vantage asks funny questions, we get funny answers, but this time, we're at a haunted house. will appear on Halloween in the most sincere pumpkin patch. I'm going to say the Headless Horseman. I have no idea. <laughs> the Headless Horseman. No, we're looking like sincere and cutesy. Sincere and cutesy? A unicorn? Yeah. A bunny. <laughs> <laughs> what mythical creature will appear on Halloween in the most sincere pumpkin patch? Oh, this is from Charlie Brown, isn't it? The, the, great, the great pumpkin. Wrong! Yeah! <laughs> What famous actor provided narration for Michael Jackson's thriller? Janet Jackson. I would say James Earl Jones, but I don't think that would be him. I don't know that either. I just know the dance. You know the dance? Very good. <laughs> Show me again. Replay. You got it. <laughs> what famous actor provided the narration for Michael Jackson's thriller? Vincent Price. Very good. What was your favorite costume as a kid? Uh, being Superman. Being Superman? Yes. Cool. Because I always wanted to be able to fly. My, well, my cousin and I dressed up like cows one year, so that was pretty funny. But. It was always something really gory. Really gory. Really? Yes. I, I, I've always just loved really scary, like the classic horror films. Yeah, I, I love that hard to believe. Well, as a kid, um, I don't know. I really didn't do that much stuff as, you know, Halloween and dress up and stuff, but future costumes, though. This Halloween, I'm gonna be an old white woman, so that's gonna be pretty fun. Okay. And I got pictures and everything of like child and era makeup, and I look really old and white. <laughs> Have you ever tried this trick? Have you ever stolen candy out of a small child's trick or treat bag? Out of my cousin's, yes. <laughs> Is your cousin gonna be able to watch this show now? <laughs> no, but I had a lot of little children steal candy out of my bag, even at 18. Mm. Yes, okay. it happens. Okay. Of course not. Never? Never. Are you lying? No. Okay. <laughs> no, that's immoral and bad. I would never steal candy out. Now the big bowls that they set on the front porch for the people that are lazy, yes, I steal some candy. <laughs> ah. Who is the author of the book Frankenstein? Ooh, I have no idea. I don't read. <laughs> it's a girl, I know that much. And I am not completely sure right now. But I read it in high school, I'm very learned. I could tell you the cast of uh, the Frankenstein movie, but I can't tell you the book. I'm gonna say Frankenstein. Frankenstein wrote it? Frankenstein wrote it. So it was an autobiography? Yes. Mary Shelley. Very good! High five, you're the first person to get it right. <laughs> YouTubers, uh, I'm scared, I don't know what's going on, but you can get updates on our channel by clicking on the subscribe button. <laughs> the first jack-o'-lanterns were not made from pumpkins. What were they made of? Gourds, I think, or... No, squash. Watermelons? <laughs> <laughs> Oranges? No. <laughs> I just heard this the other day. Uh, can't remember. Turnips. Turnips. <laughs> Here's one that will send chills up your spine. Have you ever had a paranormal experience? One night, going to get a drink. Cold, run down my spine. I stopped, heard a creak, turned around. Front door was wide open. This yeah. is at your parents' house? Middle of the night, everyone else is asleep, no one's mm -hmm. outside. Mm -hmm. Front door is not a little open, but completely open. Did you look around? A little bit. 
close the door, turn off the lights, and I don't think my feet hit the stairs on the way up. One day, I was in my house, and um, I heard like a knocking on my door. Uh -huh. I didn't know what it was, but I fell asleep, and I came outside of my door to go to the hallway, and like catty corner from me coming out of the door, I looked and I saw like a black shadow walk by me. Do you dress up your pet for Halloween? Only once, but I learned not to in the future. And what did you dress him up as? As a dog. It was a cat. Okay. <laughs> yes, I do. In what? Um, I put her in some people clothes. Um, I have a chihuahua, and he's definitely going as a bumblebee and a chicken this year. A bumblebee and a and, chicken? Yeah. <laughs> uh, she does. I do not. The, she's got a chicken and a bumblebee that we put on the chihuahua, so okay. <laughs> I choose not to be around when she does that. But. Okay. Your favorite trick or treat candy? Those big daddies. Big daddies. Or sugar daddies, or whatever they're called. Yeah. Butterfinger. Butterfingers. Yeah, love butterfingers. Chocolate. Chocolate. All right. Um, probably any type of chocolate. 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 So the bigger Tootsie Rolls. Okay. I love me some Tootsie Rolls. They're delicious. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Reese's. Reese's, mine too. Oh, I love Reese's. High five. Good answer. <laughs> Well, that's all the time that we have for tonight's show. Thanks for watching. We had a blast here at the KC West Columbia JC's Hall of Horrors. Remember, you can email us your questions at onthestreet@cablevantage.com. For our entire production crew, I'm Giovanna. We'll see you on the Uh, Ready? <laughs> Are you having a howling good time? But I look really old and white. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't feel like All right, don't kill me again. Is that a chainsaw? <laughs> Man, that was a rough night. Well, you ready to go for some pizza? All right, let's go.